This program is brought to you by Emory University. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia in aging humans. After the age of 65, the incidence of Alzheimer's disease doubles every five years. And for this reason, it's one of the most feared diseases of old age. Now, approximately four to five million Americans have Alzheimer's disease. And as the baby boom grows over the coming years, the incidence will grow accordingly. And in 2050, for example, some estimates are that as many as as 15 million Americans may have Alzheimer's disease. So Alzheimer's was named after Alois Alzheimer, who a, a little more than 100 years ago first described the changes in the brain that are associated with dementia. And these changes that Alzheimer saw, and this is a, a microscopic section of the brain of a patient who had died of Alzheimer's disease. The changes that Alzheimer saw were this, uh, these senile plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. He recognized that this debris in the brain was abnormal, but at the time he had no idea what these lesions were made of. In the last quarter of century, it's become clear that these are made of specific proteins that are normally made in the brain, but which in Alzheimer's disease begin to accumulate abnormally. And uh, as they accumulate, uh, they somehow cause a deterioration of brain cells, and this deterioration then leads to dementia. The senile plaques we now recognize are made of a protein called A-beta. And all of the evidence that we now have, biochemical evidence, genetic evidence, pathologic evidence, indicates that the protein forming senile plaques, A-beta, is a key initiator of Alzheimer's pathology. And once this protein begins to accumulate, other proteins then follow suit. And these proteins include the tau protein that forms neurofibrillary tangles. These two lesions, plaques and tangles, are the lesions that Alzheimer described. And by analyzing these in more detail, we're now beginning to understand what causes the disease. And eventually, we hope this understanding will lead to the development of better treatments for Alzheimer's disease. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.